chicken feet and they're rubbing and like. And they, those tickling. are real chicken feet. And I guarantee you they're cut off too. Uh, and they're like tickling his feet. They're like. Uh, and then like while it's happening, fucking Zolar is making like orgasmic. They're like making weird orgasmic noise. Hello and welcome back to the 147th episode. Good, better, bad, bad show. Watch terrible movies. Tell you, show two. I'm your host, Mr. Brian Shilligo. Coming back to you again on this beautiful spring day. Joined as always by my other host, Mr. Kyle Hayden. Kyle, Hi. welcome back <laughs> to my the show that we do. God, it almost feels like we're not in a never-ending winter right now. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a uh, we actually have some nice warm weather for once. Uh, you know, for March, that's rare around here. It's usually still like in the 40s. So, but unfortunately for our fans, we are heading back up to the Great White North. Is this Canadian? Yes, movie? this is a Canadian. Yes. Movie. <laughs> We're talking about 2004's Zolar. Zolar! Hola! Uh, do you like aliens? Do you like blue aliens who skateboard and Do you snowboard? like extreme sports? <laughs> Dude, we'll get to it, but there's a conversation in this movie like halfway through that was so delightful where they explained the origins of extreme sports. <laughs> yes. That is one of my favorite things. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, so this movie uh, was directed by a guy named Carl Goldstein, who I looked up. He was the second unit director on Die Hard with a Vengeance, uh, Last of the Mohicans, and The Glimmer Man. That's so he's incredible, because none of that comes across. In this. Uh, yeah, I don't know who was shooting this, but there's a lot of out-of-focus shots. I mean, obviously he's the director, not the... But you're looking yeah. at the screen, you're looking at the monitor, you should be like, hey man, that's really out of focus. Um, if you ever <laughs> noticed, if you saw the DVD case, the DVD case says, as seen on TV. Yeah. So this saw life as... <laughs> Sorry, this saw life be that close. as a TV made for TV film yeah. for the WB. Oh, back for the in WB. Yeah. Okay. Well, it felt this uh, very clearly feels like a TV, like a mm. Disney, like you know, uh, a Disney original. The only thing it would have been better if, like, uh, a la, uh, a la, <laughs> a, a la carte, uh, but, uh, the um, Christmas Rush. What about it? Remember when? Oh, they, that was like, the TV. It, it, it was a TNT movie. or TNT, yeah. But it, it had clearly a uh, commercial cut. It. Oh yes, this one does not have as obvious commercial breaks as mm -hmm. uh, like Christmas Rush did, but uh, it very much. And we'll talk about some of the influences as I think they're pulling on here. But I was transported back to, like, middle school <laughs> watching yes. this movie, like, watching Disney Channel. Oh. It was incredible. Uh, this film has a 1.8 on IMDb. Well deserved. <laughs> yes, very well deserved. Uh, is not good. Um, so we get to our opening credits, and already I love the opening credits. It's like they feel like they like they were looking for fonts. They just Googled rad fonts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they use that. It's amazing. And the song is like the most perfect, like early 2000s rock. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. A lot of it, it's, it so much feels like you're Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Almost. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so immediately we're watching these, like over the credits, they're snowboarding. Like, mm. And I think it might be like stock footage that they then, or maybe like... Maybe like the beginning part. I, just some of the snowboarding, yeah. I think, looked... And maybe it's not. Maybe they filmed it. Um, but I don't know. But it reminded me a ton. I don't know if you remember the film Johnny Tsunami from Disney Channel. <laughs> I think oh it was God, a Disney no. Channel original. There was a film called Johnny the Tsunami surfer where one? a surfer guy yeah. goes and becomes a snowboard. Like he moves to like Colorado or whatever and okay. becomes like a snowboarder. I loved that movie. I actually got into snowboarding really big for like two years in middle school and then wow. never did it I again. I did snowboarding once, didn't know how to stop, fell on my face several times, hurt my back and was done with it. That's some experience for a lot of people. <laughs> But I, I, I did love snowboarding for a while, and boy, I was having real big flashbacks watching the opening of this. Uh, it's incredible. But it's it's just uh, two people 
Snowboarding you know, down the hill, fresh shredding it up, and everything, shredding yeah. that gnar, shredding that fresh pow, <laughs> that pow pow, as they say in the pow movie. <laughs> One of them goes. Pow, pow. That's the sound of me leaving you in the pow pow. And I was like, oh god, god. That's the sound of me leaving you in the pow pow, air dog. Not like some of the lingo in this movie is fucking amazing. And also, so we jump in media res here. We will find out that we're going to like jump back in time yes. and figure out how we get here. Yes, because it, otherwise the, the beginning of this movie would be insanely boring. So we gotta. Have some yes, we gotta have an action sequence. So we jump to like the endish of the movie, uh, but we don't know that at the time. And all of a sudden, they're just getting bombed by a guy in a wingsuit. And I was like, "What? Yes, where? What is this? this? What is that? What is going on? It's pretty sweet though. He's like shooting lasers at him and stuff. And then as the, one of the parts, they're 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 like another guy gets on a snowmobile. He lands on a snow. Yes, and he just he has like a laser. He's just shooting him with a laser. He's shooting him with a laser, and it hits her in the head. Yes. The main yes. K- Kiko, I think, is her name. It it hits her in the fucking helmet and does nothing. I was like, so like this cool. And we'll find out later. These are aliens. They don't mm. explain that at this point. We don't know. No, it's, it's not like predator. It's not like a headshot just no. removes your skull. No, no, but, it's just like, Ow. but what is this thing supposed to do? I thought he was supposed to be trying to kill them, but apparently this thing can't penetrate a snowboard helmet. Like uh, it's, it's the fiberglass, Brian. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's I a very, guess. very sturdy substance. I guess dude. Cause I was like, how is it just ricochets off her helmet? Oh, that's amazing. Um, and she calls him an alien. And, and she starts, like, like at one point, they, like, get into a face-off, and she's, like, playing chicken with him. Like, mm-hmm. he's driving at them, and she starts, Kiko starts, like, snowboarding Which down the hill. Which is so dumb, because he's, it's, he's it's on a snowmobile. snowmobile. <laughs> I don't know what her plan was. We don't yep. find out, because at this moment... Um, Zolar! <laughs> Zolar, this weird blue thing, like, glowing blue things comes down the hill. You're like, what the fuck is it? Because, again, we have this is our mm-hmm. introduction to Zolar. He comes flying down the hill behind him, like, glowing blue, terrible motion, or uh, <laughs> CG uh, effect around him, glowing blue. And my favorite thing, I was not prepared. He snowboards up to the side of the snowmobile and <laughs> gets next to him and goes, Hey! I know, that, it's so in insane. In that tone of voice, hola! It's like so high pitched, and I, like, I, I was not expecting that sound to come out of that alien. I don't know why, but it, it, we see it, 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 it reminds me of the Mac, me like so the much. voice itself reminds me of the Mac and me alien. Yeah, a little, a little bit, yeah. Bit. But it, but but it's only this time. The rest of the time, yeah. he just sounds no, like a just kid. A, yeah, yeah he just because like he's a, just a guy. He's in just like, yeah, he's just a kid in makeup or whatever. But they, oh no! I was like, what is happening? What's going on? I love it though. Oh god. Um, but, but it drives him off a cliff. Drives him off a cliff. Kills him. Or no, he falls. He lands in front yes. of uh, our other two who t- have the the trap thing. Which so we don't know what any of this stuff is yes, at this it, point. It, yeah. just, well, it just looks like stuff that they were like, all right, go ahead and glue this and this together. Yeah, and then we'll just spray that, paint it. Uh, that, we'll spray paint it chrome. The the I I was convinced that <laughs> the the shrink ray device or mm-hmm. not shrink ray, but like the ice cube device or whatever that they have was at some point in its life a sex toy of some sort. <laughs> it looks. It looks questionable. I'll just say it looks uh, like it could be used for other uh, things. Um. But they use this. They have it on, a, and they have it on a camera tripod. Yes. Which is <laughs> amazing. So Why do they just hold it? Like I don't uh, understand. I it's guess they designed don't hold to be it. held. My guess. Well, but do we even see anything come out of it? Because my guess was they put it on a tripod, so when they use it, they could animate like yeah. the effect out of it without it yeah, moving so in their hand. They would have to track. Yeah. it. Yeah, but I don't even know if we see. I can't remember. Anyways. They use this thing on the guy, and he gets shrunk into an ice cube <laughs> and trapped in a tiny mm. ice cube, which is great. Uh, and this is our first instance of kind of uh, where we're getting some inspiration for this character, which is this is this is Superman, kind of, kind of, kind of. Well, we had, I mean, his backstory is, is just yeah. Superman, and I was reminded of this with the little ice cube and the well, person trapped of like the, the when not directly, tra- Brian. If you know your Superman comics, it's not exactly the same. As I say with my eyes closed. <laughs> what? Okay. <Let> me... <laughs> but <laughs> the, uh, I, I don't, yeah, I know it's not exactly the same, but my point is it's similar. His planet gets destroyed. His parents sent him to Earth uh, with mm. some, yeah, it, whatever. It's close enough. Um, but it reminded me of in, uh, in when they trap, uh, um, what's his name, in the, the little plane of like the, what the fuck is it called? The dead zone or no? Yes, uh, um, um, phantom zone. Phantom zone, That's and they tra- it. and it's like he's like in dead, like- dead zone's wrong IP. Yeah, very similar though, because an, an alien also in that escapes, lands on Earth, 
Planets blow it up. Yeah, but it reminded me when he's like <laughs> knocking on the ice cube of like when he, uh, what is the character's name? Uh, fucking. Uh, General Zod? Yes, General Zod. I, I was kept wanting to say Zordon, and I was like, that is not the no, right Zod. Power, yes, Power Rangers. Power Rangers, which is, I Power Rangers on the mind because of this movie. <laughs> but yes, uh, General Zod, like when he's in the thing and he's like, Wah. yeah, it reminded me of that a little bit. Anyways, doesn't matter. Son of Jorel, <laughs> deal before Zod. <laughs> and then break his neck. Um. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> and then we have to, because this is the first time we get one of these lines, which is one of my favorite conceits of this movie, is that, and there's some really great uh, instances of it later, yes. which is Zolar substituting the word blue, just random, not yes. even substituting, just using it as like every form, so uh, every part of speech. <laughs> they got this alien, right? They, yes. they got him trapped. He's, he's out of their hair. So they got to celebrate. Yeah. Now, normally, in the time and age and in the shitty writing, you go... Booyah! Booyah! But no, we gotta give it that Zolar spice. Blue-yah! Blue-yah! <laughs> Blue-yah! <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. And then he says, I just got my blue on and took care of business. And I just got my blue on and took care of business. All right, bring it in, everyone. Here we go. Kyle, there are a few lines of this <laughs> later that I cannot stress enough. They either did not think about it all, nope. or they thought about and laughed themselves to sleep about how stupid it is. How... Half the time I was thinking of Arrested Development. Yes, I just blew myself. <laughs> yes. I'm afraid I just blew myself. <laughs> yes, and that's... I don't know if that, because this came out, well, this is probably right around Arrested 2004? Development, isn't it? Wasn't yeah. the first season of Arrested Development in that uh, ballpark? I don't know. Somewhere around there. Yeah, anyways. Um, <laughs> there's a couple, we'll get to them. I have them written down later, and I can't remember what they are now. I don't want to spoil them. But there's a couple lines where I'm like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Which they may have been intentional. Who knows? Um but then we get a voiceover from our main character. Well, our main character who's not Zolar. Our main, mm. like our point of view character is uh, Dax. Da Dex. 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 I think it's whatever. Dex. It doesn't matter. Point, it, um, it kind of like he's irrelevant. <laughs> what? <laughs> Most of the characters are irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, but da I think his name's Dex. He gives us a voiceover and he's like, It didn't always come so easily. There was a time when, frankly, we sucked. We weren't always so badass. We used to really suck dick. And then they flash. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, we're going to the BFX games. The right? BFX game. Well, eventually. We're not there yet. I, well, maybe it is like. They're, no. they're part of the tour. Yeah, they're part of the tour. Yes. Um, and But we flash back to them just eating shit. Yeah. <laughs> they just suck. They're just terrible. Mm -hmm. Couldn't slide a rail if it was a mile long. <laughs> All, we see all of our main characters like go ride and immediately just wipe out. And yeah. I love then they show the scores and they're giving them like threes. And I'm like, they literally like yeah. they got always. I mean, maybe they did a whole run before they fell. We all we it's saw a was the participation them, trophy. <laughs> well, all we saw them do was jump on a rail and immediately fall on their face and they're like three. And I'm like, yeah, nailed it. You get points for eating shit. All right, cool, great. <laughs> Seems like you should have got a lower score. Um, but we also find out that one of the characters named, and I don't remember any of their names except for Kiko, because it's a really weird name. It's Dex, Kiko, his sister, and then... Hanson, I think, is the tech Han guy. The Han yes, the tech guy. And then uh, Brett, which Brett. we'll talk about. But uh, Hanson, he invented his own skateboard. <laughs> yes. And his skateboard... It just becomes skates. Yes, it splits in half and has extra wheels and is just skates. And then what What does he do with this brilliant invention of his? He racks his balls on a fucking <laughs> rail. <laughs> Directly it. into it, yes. <laughs> so stupid. I love it. And then we'll talk about it because then he invents a new board right after this, and it's the same fucking thing except it doesn't split. And we'll get there. It's so infuriating. Um, and then they're they're getting like their report cards after the after this. They all suck at this. Mm. They're getting like their their Some scores sort of or whatever score sheet, yeah. Or whatever. And they're like, if we don't score in the top three in the next tournament. We're out. They're kicking us off the tour? Oh, guys, if we don't get better, they're going to kick us off the tour. I'm like, well, yeah, you just you yeah, shit the whole time. Like, what? You just fell over a bunch. You got to grab, uh, I mean, I guess, like, you could be the opposite. You, you grab eyes the opposite way. Suck so bad. It's like it's like <laughs> yeah, NASCAR in some yeah. ways. You go out there to be, oh, I wonder if there's going to be a You're like crash. the demolition derby part of, yes. the, <laughs> of this yes. event. Yeah. I mean, I would watch that dude with his crazy skateboard just running into rails <laughs> over and over again. It'd be pretty fun. No one on the BFX cares that you invented this board. They just want to see you stay on it. 
But yeah, so they really got to get an A. Uh, oh, they really got to like they need a tr- somebody to train them. They need somebody mm. to train them, and this is when they bump into Jason Ellis, yes. <laughs> who is apparently a big name in I, skateboarding. According I looked to him up, movie. and the only thing that is relative was like a radio show. Oh, he was well, yeah, but he was a skateboarder, yeah. and so his biggest accomplishment, which they specifically mention in this movie, is that he at one point had the Guinness World Record for highest drop in or something like that. He dropped in from like seventy feet. That's insane. It was insane, but like, and and I'm not I'm not taking anything away from it, but like he never like at least from what I could find, he wasn't like winning a bunch of like X Game yeah. medals or anything. Can you imagine like that? being on top of like a six story building and being like, hey, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill myself here by jumping off this building? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but I so that was the thing. He did compete in uh, the. Uh, he was one of six competitors in the Big Air competition in the X Games in 2004 and in 2005. Mm. In 2004, he got a concussion and couldn't compete. And then in 2005, he or and then in 2005, he got tenth place or so or something like that. So he didn't oh, really even okay. do like whatever. Yeah. Um, I'm sure he's a but great. I'm, I'm sure the big reason is the, the notoriety of that crazy drop. Yes, yeah. yeah. Like and like I said, they specifically mentioned he has the Guinness World Record for whatever, like whatever it is. That I, uh, yeah, like dropping in from a certain height. Uh, hey, Mr. Alice, wow, man, it is so awesome to meet you, bro. Call me Jason, man. Cool. Anyways, I love it. But also, his his whole scene, his close up in this is completely mm-hmm. out of focus. The wall behind him <laughs> is in focus. And like, so you got your big your big yes. name for this. Well, they get a bigger name later. We'll talk about that because I'd actually heard of the next guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but they uh, and like you can't even get his shot in focus. Awesome, good stuff, Sweet. amazing. Um, also, uh, him and the other guy uh, acting is about on par what you'd expect for a bunch of uh, extreme sports guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, which is, they're not actors. No. They, they ride skateboards and shit. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I think your team shows a lot of potential. You mean X team? What? What? You guys should stick together. You're naturals. Yeah, um, but he tells them, I'm not going to train you guys, but I got a friend. And whatever that guy, uh, Skip? No. Yes. Sebastian something something, but yeah. it's, it turns out to be Skip. Yeah, they call him Skip. Out of nowhere, Jason Ellis hooked us up with what he called the smokingest coach on the planet, Sylvester Crovo. And so he's like, here, go to this place and he'll train you. And they go out there. And, I'll, and as soon as they get there, they're like, can't find him. And they have this line. And I was like, oh, the lingo in this movie's going to kill mm-hmm. me. One of them goes... They like see they like trying to find, they're like looking through a window or something or they see somebody looking through a window and and I think it's Hanson goes <clears throat> maybe it's our smoking coach practicing his peeping skills maybe it's our smoking coach working on some extreme peeping skills but guys I say we bail and I was what like, what is what it? <laughs> our what smoking what does coach? that mean smoking in this instance just means like awesome like awesome coach but smoking smoking generally. Was it ever used that way? I've never heard smoking used to mean awesome. Only like hot, like like you well, would say Brian, like that person it, is smoking. It could be Canadian slang. Oh God, is there Canadian slang? Oh Jesus! You seen his impaler? His Bobby Dangler. Well, you seen his PhD? His WMD. Oh look, fellas, you seen his friendly weapon? His sticky grenade. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to learn about your your butchering of the English language. <laughs> he says as an American. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, oh, I, and then they also say, "I love." They have a line where they're like, uh, "Jason Ellis is only like a legend of skateboarding." Really? Yeah. They're talking about Jason Ellis again. And they're like, "Jason Ellis is only like a legend of skateboarding." I was like, "Is he though? <laughs> is he?" <laughs> Like, is he really? <laughs> I mean, okay, it got a Guinness World Record. I don't have a fucking Guinness World Record. So. Copy, copyright strike claim, Jason Ellis. <laughs> He's a much more talented skateboarder than I am. I've wrote, I got on a skateboard once when I was like seven and almost busted oh, my yeah. face open. No, I've like, br- broken my wrist never before. Never again. Yep. I cannot do this. Oh, not at all. Um, so the coach is, they, they do finally meet mm. Skip, and... He then is like, you got to add one more person to your team. I will coach you, but you got to add one yes. more. My son. He goes over to this like RV thing. They it's like a bus. It's the, like a bus. They call yeah. it the beast. Yeah. Um, how do you know that you are in for a good time if your coach is a guy who lives in a van <laughs> down, by the, down by the river? Yes. He's like, you got to add one more to your team. My son and his son. Zolar Zola. walks out and he's a blue alien. Yeah. Check out my son. 
So are. Hola! And I cannot stress enough how much none of them react to yes. the fact that, a, that an alien wants <laughs> extraterrestrial life exists. Wow, that guy's blue. That's really weird. That's kind of Everybody's weird. Everybody's going to think we're, that we're a bunch of freaks now. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, oh, he's blue. Ignoring the fact that he has like fucking <laughs> like, like fish, like fins on his fucking yes. head and, and it, he's an alien and like clearly an alien and they're like well that's weird uh, uh and brett is and this is like the very thinly veiled like racism thing where brett is like i won't skate with them he's blue i don't like him i'm out of here he's blue <laughs> yeah well i'm not skating with some weird blue dude well, I mean, for the record, you suck, dude. Like, like oh, Brett's yeah, terrible, yeah. yeah. He didn't even do any tricks no. at all. He just immediately failed. They even said that at the beginning. And Brett, well, he couldn't even get his stuff off the ground. Yeah. There aren't any words for Brett. Cool. You will be uh. missed. Bye. <laughs> he goes, I'm not skating with some blue dude. <laughs> It's like, you mean an alien? I, it's, oh, I yeah. love it. And I love, they're like, no, he's not a space alien. Like, they think, like, they consider for a second, no, like, no, is he's he from, an alien? he's from Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, he's from Kentucky. He's just blue. And they do explain, oh, uh, there are some people somewhere in Kentucky mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. like, there was a whole family of blue people mm -hmm. or whatever. It's caused by an enzyme deficiency. It was his family in Kentucky. They had this rare disease, so their skin went blue. Ever. And the ears? Yeah, and the fucking fish fins on its fucking head okay great and i love we'll get to it because uh, there is a reveal later where they're like wait you're an alien and it's like what what did you think was going on whoa uh, <laughs> no guys i, I should have told you guys. wow i mean this has got to be the most extreme scientific discovery ever uh so brett's out zolar's in and then they go into this garage, and they have a kick-ass skate park in this garage it's, that apparently yes. Kiko does not like. She's like, we're supposed to skate here, and it's like, it's, there, like, a there a problem with yeah, it? yeah. it's like a full skate park in a garage. It looks awesome, whatever. So they're just messing around. I, I love how they're just messing around. Their coach is supposed to be like this chill dude who's, who's supposed to teach him the Super, ways. Yeah, man, he lives in a van man. down, but yeah, he's got a key. Uh, and then he comes in, he's like, you guys need to practice. It's all about fucking dedication and perfection. <laughs> Practice is a big thing and it starts with discipline. <laughs> it's like, yeah. And I mean, there's some fun to like inverting that trope of a character. I guess like, so. but, but yeah, he comes in, he's like, you guys fucking suck. You're terrible. Uh, I, which I found very funny. He also, um, this is where we see uh, Hanson's new skateboard invention, which at least the last one split in half. This one is literally a skateboard that they screwed two extra sets of wheels on, mm -hmm. which serves literally no, no purpose, purpose other than to add friction, like add. Well, it makes it harder to turn. Yeah, and make it harder to <laughs> like I do. I, whatever. Okay, great, uh, awesome. He does. He does give him some good advice. Like, like nobody cares about how cool your board is if you can't stay on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They well they start skating they're like doo -doo -doo, and it like turns into fucking Brink which is another yes. early two thousand. I, I remember Brink. You remember Brink? Yes, I remember yeah. Brink. Because like uh, uh, Kiko rollerblades, she doesn't mm -hmm. skateboard, she rollerblades, and so they're like skating around, and she says, Kiko says, I think our little freak from Kentucky could use some inspiration, and that that inspiration is they just chase him around the. Thing. I don't know because it's like they like kind of are bullying him here, but not really. It's very strange. Um, but he, uh, this is when the guy comes in and starts busting heads. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Skip or whatever. He's like, "You guys just fucking around. That's not practice. You think this is practice? <laughs> this has got to be fucking real. You gotta <laughs> work on your lines." Yeah, That's, it's in metal. Okay. Uh, he goes, you guys are supposed to be practicing your rides, not turning this into some contact sport. And it's like, they were just skating. Like, what yeah, were, they were just... Chill, bro. Okay, come, all right, whatever. They met, like, 15 minutes ago. Yeah. Also, um... <laughs> So then we get a sweet montage of him like showing him how to do stuff. Mm -hmm. And I love one of the, <laughs> I can't get over this guy's voice either. He's like, dude, you're holding back. Just go for it, right? Get re to just do it, huh? Dude, you're holding back. Just go for it. Get stoked. Get your blue on. Get stoked, man. Get your blue on. You just gotta blue it out. Like he's just he has like the most stereotypical, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, like skater dude voice. It's amazing. 
And I also love his wardrobe. He's wearing acid washed jeans, a giant t-shirt underneath a soccer jersey that is like torn open. Yes. <laughs> and then he has a baseball cap perched on the back half of his head backwards where it's like, I can't, I don't have a, oh, I do have a hat. Oh, God. He has it. He has it like this. Whoa, whoa, be careful with the signature. I know, I'll be careful with the signature. It's like this. It's like on his head like this. It's, <laughs> it's like, I guess that's a thing. Okay, great. Anyways, um, it's amazing. I love his wardrobe so much. I want to dress like him forever. But we, we get an Insta montage of them being like, hey, let's work at being better skateboarders. Let's practice rollerblading around barrels and shit, whatever. Yep. It's boring. It doesn't really matter. Um, then we cut up to our villain. We gotta introduce yes. our villain, Kyle. Villain played by one C. Thomas Howell. C. Thomas Howell, who's in makeup for this entire movie, uh, and he's in like three scenes. They very yes. clearly filmed all of his stuff in a single day. His his makeup is insane. It's like, amazing. It's, it, how would you describe the headpiece? It's to me, it looks like they're going for like an arachnid inspired thing. Like it's it's a bulbous ass thing yes. with like it's, red. It looks. It's, it's, got, it's cool. got like these red bulbs. His, his yeah. red skin. Yeah. He's got a. He's got a witch's finger hanging yes. off his nose. It is absolutely a witch's finger, like prosthetic that they just glued to his nose. It's amazing. So ridiculous. But he doesn't look terrible, all things considered. But, th this is one of those things where I was like, this feels like Power Rangers. Yes. Thing. Like, yes. Because he's like up in the spaceship yeah. watching them. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's like classic. Uh, what? Yeah. Zordon, like sitting up in his thing, or uh, uh, Rita Repulsa with her. Yeah. Yeah, fucking exactly. telescope <laughs> or whatever. Uh, I miss the old. Episodes. I love Power Rangers, <laughs> man. It was so good. Um, anyway, so he's like a giant spider headed, spider headed creature or whatever. And uh, they explain at this point that Zolar is the most powerful creature in the universe or something like that. Yeah. Like, and they want to capture him. He, okay, so the way they, he's a walking energy reactor. Well, basically. they get to that. They explain that way later, later? when they explain okay. his family background. But at this point, they just say... They, they need, he's the MacGuffin. They yes, want him. They want him because he's very powerful, and we don't know why yet, but they, they will explain that eventually once we get to Mike Metzger's house. God. <laughs> we'll talk about it. It's amazing. Um, but uh, he, he says... But so he has his apprentice, uh, his his apprentice named Prentice or whatever. Mm -hmm. His his second in command is down on Earth to try to capture them, and he's like, "I you need to capture him and just murder all of his friends. Don't care, just yep. kill all the rest of his friends." Awesome. He's like, "Great, let's do it." And then we get a really good CG spaceship shot <laughs> as it flies through. It's amazing. Um, now it's time they've trained up. It's time for the BFX tournament. This is their last chance mm -hmm. to get you know get good scores and stay on the tour or whatever. Um, <laughs> And they're they're getting ready in the van, and they're putting these earpieces in. I don't know if you noticed, but the earpieces are very clearly earbuds that yeah. I had in like oh, middle yeah. school that you can see in one of the shots that they just cut the the cable on. <laughs> you can see the cut cable sticking out mm -hmm. of the bottom of it. It's amazing. Uh, um, it, it also feels a little bit like a glam rock like concert. Oh thing. yeah, they got like sweet little makeup. <laughs> yes. just a little bit. Like each of them has like a, like uh, our Dex, the main character, has like some little like wings kind of around his Very, eye. Very uh, clockwork orange. Yeah, it actually does. I was like, nah, I don't know if that's the inspiration you want to pull from <laughs> for this kids movie, but uh, they even gave uh, Zolar a headpiece too for his fish ears. <laughs> yes, yeah, he's got his own little thing for his fish ears. It's amazing. And then this is what I had to know. I was like, okay, Zolar goes in to compete. Mm -hmm. Are they not worried about people being like, hey, hey. that's Clearly yeah, a what? fucking alien. No, no. <laughs> Brian, didn't you know that Canadians are incredibly accepting of... I mean, A+. Plus, good stuff, but, like, what? It's just... It's a blue person with fish here. Like, it's not... It's it's so clearly, like... Uh, you would be like, wait a second. What is going it, on it's, here? It's right up there if they were like, here's a, here's a bear on a skateboard competing. It's like... <laughs> So incredible. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. Um, but they're not even worried about it. They're just like, all right, let's go do it. And then uh, so uh, they start skating. They're like a half pipe competition. And, mm. and uh, Kiko goes first on her rollerblades. And she does like a bunch of cool tricks. And they show the scores. And they give her like sevens. And I'm like, she got a three for eating shit earlier. And yes. you're giving her sevens <laughs> for doing flips and stuff. Like, what is this scoring? I don't understand how this scoring works at all. Um, and then... All of a sudden, a blue plasma ball 
right as Zolar's getting ready to go in, or no, he does yeah. drop in and, and no, sucks. And nobody even he, notices. No, no, not for a long time. We see the blue ball happen, and like people are just still watching like the skating. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Uh, but also, Zolar does eat shit a few times. That's important. Like yeah. he tries and scales. Got performance and anxiety. Yeah, and everybody's like, you suck. Get out of here. We knew this team was in trouble by using a mascot in competition. Um, and then the blue ball shows up, and it, like, freezes everybody in time, except for our characters. For reasons. For re- I don't know why they're exempt from this, okay. but everybody else gets frozen in time. Uh, and then these face-painted goons get teleported down. And yes. this does kind of remind me of Power the, Rangers. the putties. Yeah, yes. from Power Rangers. Absolutely. Um, uh, they, they start chasing him around on the half pipe, which is just like, yeah, okay. It's amazing. He just starts skating around the half pipe, and then... He starts glowing and, and Kyle, flying. <laughs> he starts flying, and it's the stupidest fucking. You can. He start. He's glowing. He starts flying. You can see the cable <laughs> pulling up his shirt in the back <laughs> as he is swung around like a goddamn Wee. pinata. It's amazing. God. It's amazing. And he's spinning around them. He's like flying around them, being drugged on this cable, looking completely like useless, just in the yep. air. And it creates like a blue tornado or something. Yeah, and the skateboard's like glued to his feet. Yeah, very clearly glued to his feet as he gets like swung around. <laughs> it could have been a dead body up there, he's like for all the shit yeah. he's doing. It's amazing. Oh, God, I love it. Um, and then uh, he like con- he vanquishes them or whatever, and then he comes back down and lands. And then Prentice, the alien, shows up in a powder blue tracksuit. Kyle, yes, <laughs> yes, I saw that. And I was like, what is this? That would be enough. What is going on? Why is he dressed like that? I don't know, but it's amazing. I love it so much. Oh God! And then he. They start like, all right, kill his friends. And they start trying to, because he's like passed out now on mm-hmm. the ground. And they're like, kill his friends. And they start shooting at his friends. And then he like, but he has like a force field around yes. him. And he gets up and starts skating back and forth, or running back and forth, doing some weird arm swingy. He's like, <laughs> he's like doing this. I don't know what it is. But they keep shooting at him. What do you think the direction was for this scene? Do this. Do this with your elbows like an idiot and run around. <laughs> like that's what the, clearly what the direction was. I don't know because afterwards they show them. They're like, yeah, he did this, and it was like he saved the day. I don't know, whatever. Okay. But I love so here. Tr- they're trying to kill his friends. They yes. say shoot him, and then Zolar's blocking it, but he doesn't stand in front of them and block it. He runs to the side, and our villains still shoot at him and not the why did. The- you're asking this movie that was made for the WB to make sense. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Um, so then uh, they, they're they sitting around that later that night. He, they yeah, which is by the way, name. so they, they leave. Yeah, they just leave. And then everybody just comes back into, and they're like, hey, look at all those bodies on the ground. Anyways, back to the BFX games. Oh, no. Anyway. Let's keep going. We got to keep skating. Drag hey, those bodies off the ramp what and let's hap- go. What happened to that, that team that was doing good? Oh, they left? They I just guess disappeared. They, I guess they forfeited. They're off the tour now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So then we just teleport. Or not teleport, but we cut to the, that evening. They're, like, mm. sitting around uh, uh, like a, an oil drum with fire, you know? Like, yes. Yeah. Uh, out in the middle, like, a post-apocalyptic fire. <laughs> it's, like, sitting around it. And um, this is when they're, like, they're explaining, oh, Zolar's an alien. Yeah. And this is also, like, the most technically competent shot of the entire movie. It also gave me motion sickness. Because yes. it's just a constantly going in a big circle. It, yes. It's just, it's they saw a Michael Bay film and were like, okay, let's do that. And it's in, it's a nightmare. Mm. Um, well, see, here's the thing: Michael Bay movies and stuff. When they do the spinning shot, it's still also cut- in slow mo. What? Normally. Isn't it normally in slow mo? No, no, because often it's people. Um, maybe talk- I'm just thinking Bad Boys. Yeah, that one shot. But often people are talking, mm. and but normally what they do is they don't do one continuous shot. No, they, yeah, cut, they cut in, and so that you're on the cameras on the people talking. Mm-hmm. Whereas in this one, the cameras just spinning the whole time, and sometimes people are talking off camera, and the camera's not on. It's really whatever. Yep. Um, but I love they're like, yeah, we already knew he was from somewhere else. And they're like, and they're like, they're like, yeah, like another country, like Iceland or something. And they're like, no, he's a fucking alien. Yeah. He's a fucking alien. Yes. 
from another planet. And then when they say that, we get this weird cut in shot of like outer space for like two seconds. That's super pixelated. It looks like they like literally Googled outer space on Google images and found a thumbnail and stretched it out <laughs> and just slapped it in their movie. Well, like Skip describes many years ago that he and some surfer, right? Anyway, my surfer buddy, you like saying, you know, you should keep baby Z for yourself. Raise him like a son. I don't they, remember. They, they found Zolar's pod or whatever. Oh, oh, the, it's Me him and Mike Metzger. Metzger? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, 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 uh, well, in real life, he's a dirt bike guy. I don't know what he is in the movie. I think he's supposed to be a dirt bike guy. But they're, he's like, it was the universe is talking to me, man. I got to take care of this little guy. <laughs> yeah. And that's how he became Zolar's adopted father. Adoptive father in this. And it's just... Oh, that was my cat's food dispenser. It <laughs> it automatically dispenses food at set times. That's what that was. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, but you know that's what you normally do with aliens. You just grab, you just uh, pick them, and you're like, oh, I guess this baby needs a home, so yep. I'm gonna raise this. Well, child. yeah. To... I mean, well, you say, well, you say that like that's like the conceit of every superhero thing ever, yeah. Kyle. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that does. It, it, you look at it. You look at it. It looks fucking. It, it's weird. It shouldn't be happening in the Superman universe either. Because they're like, well, at least in Superman, he does just look like a random baby. You would still think they'd be like, hey, I found a baby. What do we yeah. do about this? Yeah. Well, like even in Dragon Ball, it at least makes sense because they're out in the middle of goddamn nowhere with like no like government yeah. control or whatever. Well, to be fair, in the state Skip of is a free. He's a free. He's a, you know, he lives in a van, man. He doesn't he doesn't he I'm doesn't, sure in the state of Kansas for the Superman origin they're like, "Hey, yeah, so why doesn't this baby have like a social security number or oh, they wouldn't have social security back in the 30s." But uh yeah, why, why doesn't he have like any kind of ID, birth certificate, anything? All right, let's break down. Let's really get into the nitty-gritty <laughs> of why Superman doesn't make sense. <laughs> Um, anyway, so they're like, oh, all right, well, he's an alien, that's cool, we're still gonna make a sick team, and then knock off the Who, who we music we plays, it's like, we're 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 it's amazing. Um, and we're gonna make one sick team. Yeah. <laughs> then they, it really is, it's like, they're like, well, how close to, to the Who can we get without playing the Who? Um, and then they, they get in the bus, and they're driving, I think they're in the bus, and he starts showing them pictures. Like, yes. bit, oh, these pictures are Kyle, incredible. Holy shit! These pictures are incredible. Holy shit, Kyle! It is the holy shit. greatest and worst Photoshop they job. Continuously ever. get worse as it goes. It starts horrifying and gets more horrifying. They need they need to show how rad his childhood was. Oh my god! He's ramping a tricycle over a He's sandbox, like, and his head Whoa. is too big. Look at that air, man. <laughs> And it's all like, and they keep every shot, his head, his alien head is slightly too big for his body because they had to blow it up big enough to cover the, you know, the head the, that was the there. Head, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So his head's slightly too big. And then some of them, he has these crazy, like, dead eyes. One of the last ones, it's like, it's seeing into your fucking soul, dude. It's That's so horrifying. Great. I was like, some of those pictures, I was like, if you showed me that picture, I'd be like, well, I'm going to die in seven days for sure. Like, that's what this is. That thing's going to yeah. crawl out of a mirror in seven days and murder me in my sleep. That is what's going to happen oh. holy shit and then um this is when they they're traveling to mike metzger's house they got to mm. go ch chat with mike metzger and now i had actually heard of mike metzger he was like um <laughs> a very famous uh, uh he's called like the godfather of motocross or something like that he, he was one of the first guys that started doing tricks on like dirt i mean bikes honestly the, the only the bmx person i'd really heard of was mike hoffman i don't know who that is is my hoffman bmx I don't okay. know. Anyways, <laughs> I think you're thinking of Mike Metzger. <laughs> I don't know. No. Mike Metzger. So I played uh, Excite Bike 64. I think he was in that. I played the original Excite Bike. Yeah, he might. I might have been. In, I don't know. Anyways, or one of those. I knew him from some dirt bike video game, like back on the N64 or something. Um, but very well known. Uh, yeah, like OG of motocross or whatever. Um, and he's in this fucking movie. Matt Hoffman. That's Matt Hoff. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, he's in this movie. They go to his house, <laughs> and they think he's they, an alien. They go to his house, which is like the most rad goddamn so pad rad, ever. man. Rad pad. <laughs> How do you know? It's got a popcorn machine. Popcorn machine. Couldn't be more rad in the early 2000s than having a popcorn machine in your fucking living room. You can get one of those on the internet now for like $80 and yep. have a popcorn machine in your living room. Um, but he's... Uh, 
he's an alien. Yeah. And they just it's ask him. So, they just ask him. So, are you, are you an alien too? Of course I'm an alien. <laughs> yes, of course I am. Here's some fucking nightmare fuel for you kids. <laughs> he opens his mouth and a fucking, yeah, like a giant... I don't even I don't know how to describe it's, it. It's, it. It reminds me. It's like Men in Black. Yes, but for sports. Yes, for extreme sports. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. It's like, bah! and they're like, holy shit. Um, so he's totally an alien. And then he explains. I lo- this is what I was mentioning earlier when he explains the history of extreme sports, and he's like, most of the world's top extreme athletes are from different planets. Actually, most of the world's top extreme athletes are aliens. Even Jesse, whatever his name is, or Jason... Who, uh, Jason yeah. Ellis? Oh, Jason yeah, Ellis? man. Yeah, he's wild. <laughs> he's a wild alien or whatever. And then he goes... <laughs> See, what you know is extreme sports. It's just a version of our rituals. What you know is extreme sports is just ver- a version of our rituals. <laughs> That is a wild ass what concept. In the fuck? I love the concept that shredding sick gnar and like surfing and shit <laughs> is is like doing well, holy rituals on you know Jupiter or whatever. These <laughs> things are smoking or shredding sick gnar or shredding the pow pow. That's that's just where you we're taking from their language <laughs> and adopting it to our own, man. That's some of our holiest rituals. Everything is connected. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. I love it. I, that's actually a kind of fun concept. It's super stupid, but I, I it, it made me laugh a lot. Total alien. You think I'm gross? Wait till you see Ellis. But he just info dumps forever. Mike Metzger mm. is just like there to be like, here's all the information. Hi, here's exposition. Yeah, and this is where he explains Zolar's background. They take him into his sweet basement, and he's like, "You're uh, Zolar's blue because he has too much Zurus." Zurus. Zurus. I think is what they say. On Zirkania, everyone's got Zurus. Zurus is basically the Zirkanian life force. Uh, so he's he's basically a walking battery. Yes, he's originally from the planet Zirkania, which is where his family is from, and there, uh, Zurus is the most powerful energy source in the universe. And so the evil guy, Hedion, mm-hmm. I believe is his name, went or, or somebody went to their planet to like get all the energy and ended up destroying the planet. And they pulled as much Cirrus as they could into Zolar and shipped him to Earth. But before they destroyed the planet, they sh- they uh, shot Zolar off in a little skate Wait. pod. Yeah. And we see this horrifying picture of his parents. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like really weird. Um, also, this whole movie, uh, Dex's younger sister, I don't know what her name is, like the younger girl, mm. is like so thirsty for Zolar the whole film. She's like, Zolar's so hot. Oh, he's so cute. I love him. So it's so weird. It's very strange. Yeah, a super cute super dude. Dude, I want to see you do that thing with the popcorn. Um, but Zolar absorbed all of the Zurus. <laughs> and I hate yes. that I'm saying these words so right now weird. so much. Um, and, and then he came to Earth to keep it out of the hands of, of Hedion or whatever. And so he's basically just Superman at this point. Um, it's I mean, not really, but yeah. What? What do you mean? Okay, I okay. know it's different, but it's the same uh, idea. No. They said- Ryan, I'm going to fast forward through this real quick. <laughs> Anyways, we're back. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Anyway, so he finds out he's worried his parents are dead. He's like, and we get an, an angry like montage or whatever. I love he like does an angry skateboard throw. He's like, oh my fucking parents are dead. I hate it. Oh, he's super sad. Um, and then Mike Metzger gets ice cubed. Like, yeah. uh, oh, uh, the other bad alien shows up. Gam- Gammer? G- Grammar? Gra- Gemmer? Jammer? Gem- Jammer? 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 Well, it's like it's that. really confusing. It's spelled G G E O M M E R. Porky, porcupine guy. Spiky guy. There we Spiky go. guy. Um, Gemmer or something like that. Uh, and now he, he gets he gets Mike Metzger and him and Prentice seem to be competing to capture Zolar. I yes, think, they're I suppo- both supposed to be working for Hedion or whatever. Yeah, uh, who, who cares or who knows? Hedion will be furious when he discovers you to interfere. But the Hedion is the one that sent me down to take care of your sorry mess. Um, also, it seems that Zolar was unaware that he was an alien until this point. Potentially, what? or maybe not an alien, but that he didn't know any of his backstory. Yeah, like he this didn't know is his he, importance. Yeah, like he didn't know any. Like they didn't tell him that his family. Like this is him finding out all of the backstory about his parents, which seems weird. I, maybe it's like a, you know when you turn thirteen or something. I don't know. Who cares, man? He's still alive. 
No one knows for sure. The planet was destroyed by Hedian 14 years ago. Then his parents just, just show magically up. Magically show up. They just show up the yep. next day. They're at the skate park practicing, and his parents are just like, oh, by the way, we're here. And Skip is there the whole time, right? His his mm -hmm. dad, like his his adoptive dad, is there in the background. And these aliens show up and are very clearly not his parents. They're acting fucking weird. It's very yes. clear something strange is going on. But Skip's like, nah, just go with them, I guess. It's fine. Cool. Go write your name on the sky. It's time for real. It's like, well, you're not... It's so clear that they're like some weird shit is happening, and they're like, oh, and at the end, uh, they're like, hey, can we get a picture before you leave? And he's like, no, or they're like, no, no pictures, but they they do it anyways. They take a picture, um, <laughs> and uh, that will become important later on. Uh, I also want to say I was trying to call my shot here, and I'm very upset that this doesn't come true. <laughs> I, I at this point I was like, because they say some another blue line here at one point. And I was like, oh, I'm calling it now. The the one-liner at the end, like when he wins, you know, like mm -hmm. beats the villain or whatever. Asta Blue Vista. I was thinking that was going to be it. It's not it. He doesn't say anything. He just explodes. We'll get there. <laughs> Asta Blue Vista, Kyle. Okay. <laughs> that would have that would have been great. How dare you? Uh, but he zips off with uh, with his uh, fake parents. Yeah, he's gone, and now they're worried. They're like, I don't know what's going on. I don't feel good about this. Isn't we gotta it some... weird how we only found out about his parents yesterday? <laughs> and then they, and they show, show up. up today? <laughs> yeah. Don't you find it a little strange that the day after Zolar finds out about his parents, they show up? Maybe his Cirrus just reached out to them. Mm. Uh, and they're like, hmm. And then uh, I think they Mike Metzger sends, oh, gave them some information or something to send them to some abandoned mine shaft or something. Because mm. they have this great line where they're like, I don't well, know if we they, should be doing Mike, The actual Mike Metzger just hands, he hands them a note and says, these are GPS coordinates. Yes, They'll that, answer everything. Yes, that's what I, yeah, that's what it was. Um, and <laughs> I love as they're going to this place, which turns out to be like an abandoned, abandoned mine shaft. One of the kids goes, like, are, do you think we should be doing this? And the other one goes, I don't think Mike Metzger would do something to put us in danger. I don't think Mike Metzger would do something to put us in danger. No. <laughs> you don't fucking uh, know. Okay. But a couple things. One, at the entrance here, I'm not sure if you notice, they they actually put the camera on the the tracks that go into oh, this thing. no. And you can tell, the only reason you can kind of tell is because when they're dollying in, it's shaking a little bit on one side because there's way too much fucking gravel there. <laughs> Did not notice that. Uh, That's and then awesome. they go in and they're going through the caves. Hanson's looking at the the, the shitty BlackBerry device that yeah, they're yeah, reading yeah. everything off of. He says, "This place looks completely unmapped." The whole place is kind of uncharted. What do you mean uncharted? Someone must have been here. It's a it's a fucking mining cave. It's an entire mine shaft. It has no choice but to be mapped. <laughs> yeah. Well, what we know, it's unmapped, Kyle, because we find out it's Area Fifty Two. Oh yeah. And Area 52. Okay, it's Katie. <laughs> I was okay. making sure it wasn't an intruder <laughs> in my house. <laughs> um, and Area 52, Kyle, is like Area 51, but different. It yeah. doesn't matter. But so th they got to get down to the bottom of this mine shaft, and they're, the way they're going to do it is oh they brought a snowboard God, with it's them. So dumb. And Dex is like, I got this. Don't worry. Somebody's got to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, man. Let's talk about this. That is at least 300 feet. I'm just Whoa, gonna. It's gotta be like a 300 foot drop, man. <laughs> I, I was thinking the whole time of uh, Scott Pilgrim, where Chris Evans grinds like right, the yes. 400 foot rail and then just dies at the end. I was thinking of that the whole time. <laughs> uh, but he gets on the skateboard he, and goes uh, snowboard. down. It's a snowboard. It's a snowboard. He gets on the snowboard and and, and it is the worst. It's so bad because it's the amazing. angles they shot show everything they, especially at the very end but he's like grinding down this this thing and you're like sparks well, i mean to be fair it, it's at least a cool location like mm. it's a they're in a big mine shaft of some sort it's probably like a ride or something. yeah no like, it looked like a roller coaster yeah it's probably like a roller coaster but it looks cool like you know for a kid's movie it's convincing enough as like some cool location mm -hmm. um they're not faking it in the way like billy owens does where it's like they're in like a, a, a six foot long hallway in like a cave and that's all they have like it's like an actually like cool place but like you said he's grinding down this thing sparks flying everywhere yes. when he gets to the bottom 
the la right before it stops, we have an angle where you can literally see the, the entire cart he's sitting on. Yes. Because spoilers, it's he's just sitting on like a mine, like a like a, a, a fucking the bottom half of like a roller coaster car or something mm. that they like took a, like the, the the main compartment off of it, and he's just sitting on it. And you can see, you can see it. You can just see. Yes, it. they just. Left uh, I, it in I the do movie. like how he has a parachute to slow him down. <laughs> yes, and the parachute comes out of nowhere. And Hanson, yeah. who you would think would be the person who would have developed yeah, that, this, is like, where do you get a parachute? It's like, what? I don't. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, who did he come up with that? Um. But, and then he starts walking through this mine shaft, and, like, there's these spirals Fire, yeah, of gunpowder. Which are igniting as it's he's cool. going across This part's them. cool. I was like, that's cool. Like, mm. it looks cool. Whatever. It looks cool. Um, and then, yeah, it, he, he finds a chest that says Area 52 on it, and I looked that up to see what it was. I don't know if it's a real thing or not, but now it's a sick-ass weed company <laughs> that oh, sells edibles online, so you can get some sweet Area 52 weed. Okay. <laughs> um, and then, but in this chest... Or some goggles. Yes, goggles. They uh, live goggles, basically. The little ice cube ray. Yeah, ice themselves. cube ray gun thing. And yeah, these goggles are they live goggles. You put them on, you can see aliens. Yeah, they're like, they're literally just welding goggles yes. with LEDs. Attached. Yes, and you can see through the because because all the aliens in this universe can like shape shift mm -hmm. into human form. Almost or like they live. Almost <laughs> like or like in Men in Black, like most like almost all the aliens like can mm. disguise themselves as humans. Um, so now they got these goggles and they. They they know they gotta go see uh, they gotta go save Zolar and because they see uh, at one point they look at the picture yes with the goggles and it's it, it's the uh, aliens are yeah, his parents are the, the evil aliens or whatever yeah um, and then Kyle did you notice this shot hmm. there's a shot that cuts in where they're go they're skating to get to the I don't know how they figure out where the location is but they gotta get to this place where they know that they have uh, <laughs> Zolar yeah they're skating down the sidewalk oh they're and they're like, like knocking shit up. over. What, what? Oh, you didn't no, okay. no oh my god oh, okay. i gotta show you this okay. kyle they're skating the camera's on the sidewalk shooting down the sidewalk and they're all skating and like rollerblading and stuff towards the camera and they leave this entire shot in the movie you can see that every single one of these is a stunt person you can see their faces like it's the kids but they're like middle-aged men <laughs> it's, it's insanity like a, a fucking Hanson turns into uh, an old white guy <laughs> like it's, it's, no. hold on I gotta find this oh I gotta God. find this shot I have to show you this shot it's incredible <laughs> they're all just they're all just why would they leave that in they're all <laughs> You can't, this, the quality on this one, this isn't the one really you sent bad. me. It's a bad quality. No. In the version you sent me, you it's can absolutely. The version I sent you is HD. Yes, it's very clear. Put that in, slow yes. it down. Look at all their faces. Oh my they're, God. They're all just like, the you know, professional skateboarders or whatever. <laughs> it's incredible. We're a bunch of kids. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's amazing. I love it so much. Oh my God. Um, then we got to talk about this scene. We cut to where Zolar's being held. Mm. He's being held by uh, the, the evil guys. They have him strapped in like this chair thing or whatever. <laughs> Kyle. This scene. This scene gave me fuck? fucking nightmare what fuel. What the fuck is this shit, Kyle? What the <laughs> is, fuck? What is what this? What the fuck is this Why shit? would you do this? Why is this shit in the movie? You know what? I was like, did Dan Schneider write this fucking shit? Do you know who Dan Schneider is? Yes. The, the horrifying yeah, the, uh, like Nick. Fetish yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. what this fucking is, Kyle. Oh, my God. It's They have him strapped in a chair barefoot. <laughs> yes. And then they put another chair against him. So, so uh, Gamer, the porcupine guy, gets in the chair and he's gonna he's gonna absorb some of his energy, right? Yes. And what do they put up to his feet to absorb the energy? His, the aliens' feet, which are like weird little they're chi chicken legs. They're like they are chicken feet. Weird little chicken feet, and they're rubbing and like and they're, those tickling. are real chicken feet. And I guarantee you, they're cut off too. Uh, and they're like tickling his feet. They're like, uh, and then like while it's happening. <laughs> Fucking Zolar is making like orgasmic. They're like making weird orgasmic noise. <laughs> Kyle! Oh my god. I was so upset <laughs> at the end of this fucking scene. <laughs> I was so upset. I was so upset. Oh my god! I, I, when I saw that, I had to, I, I freaking messaged you. Did. You did. You messaged me. I was like, like what is with the chicken feet? feet? <laughs> uh, 
uh, my bigger concern wasn't the chicken feet. It was everything else going on. <laughs> the chicken feet was the least of my worries in that instance. Oh, it's so strange. I do not like it. Holy shit. Then our, our heroes show up to save them, and they have a fight with the guys in there, and they have this great moment where they want, want Prentice is coming at Dex, and he catapults... With a longboard. With a longboard. Meanwhile, he catapults the princess up into the air. Meanwhile, the two girls have laid down on their back with their skates yes, together. Yes, and this is apparently the treadmill. It's a thing they do all the they, time. They say this treadmill. They, this is the yeah. thing they do. Girls, do the treadmill. And he says treadmill, and then, and then Prentice lands on their skates and is running in place and can't get off the so skate. Fucking stupid. It's the dumbest fucking thing. It's... Uh, yeah, it's real dumb. Um, meanwhile, so they, they they kind of they capture everybody or not capture, but they like save them and then. But uh, Jammer already has all the energy. Yeah, Jammer has the energy, and he's like, "I'm out of here," and Jammer, he throws Jammer. a bomb. Yeah. Uh, how, how, whatever, 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 whatever it is. He throws a bomb at him with like 60 seconds on the timer. Yeah, and then just leaves, and Bye. giving them plenty of time to escape. Obviously, yeah. so they just they run out of this building that they're in that exp that has a really great effect of a spaceship. Let me tell you, <laughs> it looks really good, um, and it just explodes. <laughs> Uh, but they are able to get away. We're catching back up to the end of the movie, basically. They got mm. they 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 know he's. I don't know how they know where he he's is. He's up at they, Pinnacle Peak, which is like the highest point in the area. Yeah, because that's where he can do the most damage. But the higher the elevation, the more damage he can cause. Yeah. Uh, and, and meanwhile, also Zolar's like out of it. He's like he's like comatose because mm. they sucked all of his energy out. And I love. I think it's Skip or somebody says, "Just focus, man. You gotta get your blue back." <laughs> just focus, oh, just focus. Get your blue back. <sighs> Which is this is not the line yet. There's another one. We'll get there. It's coming. <laughs> it's fucking coming. Um, and then. Uh, like I said, we're back at the beginning, Pinnacle Peak. They're snowboarding. We get like a recap of everything we saw, like mm. literally, like shot for shot, like most of the stuff we saw at the beginning of the movie. Um, that sh she gets shot in the head by the laser again. We get the hola again. <laughs> it cracks God. me up every time. Hola. Um, and then uh, they get to the end, and our guy, they they've conquered, they've trapped the guy, and then they find they're gonna use Prentice to get to Jammer, or whatever the fuck his mm. name is, who's in this chair, like the same chair thing as before. Yes, but now it it's got a, a giant <laughs> laser, laser. But the, the laser is just a, one of those spiral. Uh, compact it, halogen or yeah, whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, it's just red. Yeah, yeah it's one of those, con it's like a heat lamp or whatever. Mm. Um, but it's their laser chair, and he's going to use this to do something. I don't even know what the plan is with whatever. it. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah, I Princess comes out as Hedia. As Hedia, because he can disguise and himself. And yeah. immediately fails because he just sucks. And then gets blasted yeah. halfway across Canada. Yes, gets, gets, gets shot across into space or whatever. And then Zolar's like, all right, it's my... Because they're all hiding behind like a snowbank watching this. And Zolar's like, all right, it's my time. Or it's my turn. And Because he's got his power back now. And this is the line, Kyle. Do you remember what he says? Oh, God. <laughs> Refresh me. I may have blocked this out as, as trauma was setting in. This is his big line before he goes to face the main, or the secondary villain, but the main villain of this movie. <laughs> he gets up and he goes, No problem. I'll just get my blue on right in that Freako's face. I'll just go get my blue on right in that Freako's face. <laughs> uh, I'll get my blue on right in that Freako's face. <laughs> God, <laughs> it's incredible. I love it. Also, I gotta talk. This movie definitely there's some foot stuff going on. The the laser shoots with a foot pedal. Yes, that's a weird choice. That's a, yes, that's a very weird choice. Yes. Anyway, my my foot operated <laughs> yeah, uh, giant space laser. Yeah, it felt like an interesting so, choice. Zolar is doing his little hand things to kind of get closer and closer. Yeah, like blocking lasers. Or but whatever. everybody's like, we got to help him, man. He can't last much longer up yeah. there. What's their way of helping him? 
they shoot the no they GTFO out of there. Oh, is it? no? Well, don't they try the laser at one oh, point? Don't, yeah, well they tried. They tried oh, that it was before. before. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're so right. So don't right. do shit. Yeah, and they're like, we got to get out. <laughs> they just he, yeah. he pulls a giant he pulls raft, a fucking raft. Which, by the way, you can see the inflation feed tube, and it's just it's just off the side going. Like, can't show this on camera, but they just inflate a dinghy and use yeah. that to escape. While Zolar is like, all right, I'm just gonna blow I up guess up I'll here. Just blow, I'll just blew myself. <laughs> I'm afraid I just blew myself. <laughs> he does. He blews himself and wins. That's how he wins. He, it's fucking amazing. Um, but yeah, they ride down this hill, and I think it's supposed to be the blue energy, but it looks so bad. I couldn't it's tell if it was so supposed ridiculous. to be an avalanche or energy. I was, like, I, I was honestly, there was a point where they get in front of it, and I, I give them credit on this. They didn't just cut them, mask them out. No. They actually did a relatively good job. Kind of. Kind of. But we don't even get to see what happens. It was the most frustrating thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, Zolar's doing something, and then we cut away, and we watch our people run away, and we never saw, like, what we happened. Ran out of budget. <laughs> yeah, ex that's 100% what happened. They were like, well, we can't fucking do whatever we wanted to do there. Um, but they get away, and then it just cuts, and they're, like, getting on the van. Yeah. And Skip's like, good job. Woohoo! Good job! Oh, wait, Where, where's, where's Zolar? Zolar? Uh, you see that explosion? <laughs> Solar didn't make it. Oh, no. And they all go for it in this moment with the tears. They are all just mm. so sad. <laughs> it's amazing. He didn't make it, Skip. And then, the last second, they look up in the he, sky. He's writing a goddamn Z. And he writes a Z in the sky. We hadn't mentioned a thing he had been saying this whole time is that, I want to write my name in the sky. Which apparently didn't seem too difficult for him. No, it's very easy. He just flies up there and writes a Z Barely in the sky. Yeah, it was fine. And then immediately, it's just in the bus. They turn around yes. and it's just in the bus. And it's like, what? okay. Because they even say, like, oh, he's saying goodbye. Look, he look, he wrote a Z, he's saying goodbye. Oh, no, he's here. It's fine. Yep. The end. I was like, what the fuck? It's so yep. stupid. Uh, he's just on the bus. It's fine. And then we get sequel bait, Kyle. Oh, God. We cut to uh, uh, the the porcupine guy. Yes, uh, he's alive. Oh, so to... apparently the blue explosion did nothing. Yeah, it did nothing. Maybe blew up the laser. I guess who knows. Sure. Um, but like, because that guy's still alive and Zolar's still alive. Um, uh, he but, blames Princess for everything. Yeah, he's like Princess fucked up. It's not my fault. Uh, and Hidian's like, fine, whatever. I yeah. still need. I still need. I still Zolar. need Zolar. Yeah. Uh, and he just was like, I, I got an him. idea, and <laughs> shapeshifts into Brett. Turns into. Brett, that little that little fuck, that <laughs> Brett's a little shit. Oh, I did they make a sequel? I couldn't. I don't no, think I, they did. Fuck, you were the one who found with, this. With this kind of response, you think they made a sequel? I would have loved if they made a sequel to this movie. Yeah, it's terrible. Uh, but yeah, Brett, we sequel bait, and then the movie ends. It's Kyle. I don't. I actually think this might be good bad. I, I'm right yeah, on the edge. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a good bad. I'm gonna give it a good bad. There's there's enough to keep you entertained. It's not that long of a movie. No, it's like an hour and twenty five minutes or whatever, like kids movie length. Um, there's enough wacky. There's some shit. insane shit. There's some really the, the goofy stuff. Fucking feet fetish, chicken feet scene. Uh, is uh, shots out of focus. Bad bad effect. Like really silly shit. Um, enough of it's competent enough. I, I yeah, I think it's right on the edge of good bad. Like it's not like one of I wouldn't put it anywhere no. near top tier. It's very no. low on the list, but I think it does border over enough. And a big thing is that I was never super bored watching it. So yes, <laughs> well done. And it also didn't make me want to fist fight it, which we'll talk about on our next episode. <laughs> Tease for next two weeks from now. Kyle, that's going to do it for this episode. As always, you can do us a giant favor by heading over to patreon.com slash GBRBB. Support us there for a couple bucks a month. Get access to bonus content and all that sort of stuff. Just released an hour, an hour long Q&A where we answered a bunch of qu questions from Patreon and Discord. Um, we also have a Discord. We never mentioned this. The yes. link's in the description if you want to join our Discord. Uh, Kyle's in there more than I am, but I pop around Great every place now for and like uh, chatting about movies. Yeah, there's, there's all kinds of channels you can talk. Yeah, if you want to recommend video games, yep, uh, recommend stuff. We got a whole channel Pictures for that. Pictures of cats. That's in whatever there. you want. Uh, you go check out the Discord channel. Again, the link's in the description for that. Uh, I have a podcast called This Film is that we're talking about movies that are based on books. When this episode's out, our most recent episode will have been Goodfellas. So when wise we did guys. Godfather, yes, why, well the books, yeah, yeah, wise wise guy I believe, um, but the movie Goodfellas. Uh, when, we, when we did Godfather recently, mm -hmm. we were actually we were supposed to do like it was a patron request, and we accidentally did. <laughs> Katie misread it, and we did Godfather, but we were supposed to do Goodfellas. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's an understandable mistake. Yeah, a yeah. G.O.D. gangster film? Like, whatever. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, Goodfellas uh, slash Wise Guy is our most recent episode. When this is out, um, 
uh, uh, T Public. Uh, I'm not wearing merch. Oh, I don't know um, why I did that. Do you bring whatever? It's over there. It's over there. Who cares? You know what it Point is. Point being, yeah, I'll put I got the a shirt. It's got Neil Breen quantum physics. That's not Neil Breen. It is. Yes, it is. His hair. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to get sued. No, that's why I said it's not Neil Breen. Yeah, it's not Neil Breen. It's just some hair. But it's, it's kind of Neil Breen. It just kind of looks like him. It's some hair. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's some it's hair and a hose. It's not Neil Breen's hair. Some hair and a hose and some words hose. that we yeah. said, not him. So there we go. The end. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't, all that out, don't, su- don't sue us, Mr. Breen. <laughs> um... Uh, but, but, uh, Twitch, you can check out twitch.tv uh, Names on the screen, we do stuff there occasionally uh, And that's it, uh, that's gonna do it for this episode Until next time, keep watching movies hey. Especially Yeah, you can go check it out, it's on YouTube, so in HD it's Completely free. free Completely free, and it's a good old If, you, if you're if you nostalgic for bad Disney movies From the early 2000s, this will fill that hole It will have you saying Booyah <laughs> 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 <laughs>